All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at the Rising Waters Turning Tide mod. This mod adds a ton of new stuff in Subnautica, and in this video, we're going to cover all that stuff. So let's do that. So this new addition to the Kelp Forest biome is called the Kelp Island, and it's found only in this specific Kelp Forest, I believe. So when we head up to the top of the island, we can see there's some metal salvage up here. We got some limestone outcrops, almost as sandstone, and then we have some nice looking trees. The lantern fruit trees are sit up here, which sort of like illuminate this island. So as we can see, it's nighttime, and these lantern trees sort of illuminate this area up here and it looks really nice and moody the island also has some more stuff to offer because there's a little cave that actually sits in the middle so if we head say up here yeah there's a little hole right here we can actually head down we can see there's an ice stalk plant right here we got some drooping stingers we need to watch out for but other than that that is about all we have for the kelp island so let's head on to the next biome that this mod adds into the game. All right, so the next area we're gonna be taking a look at that this mod adds is going to be called the Lush Grand Reef. And this area sort of adds on to the already existing Grand Reef by enhancing it through the use of, you know, added plants and whatnot. So we can see there's a ton of new plants here and a lot more plants just in general to give the biome a little bit more life. And then we can see that there's a ton of these, like, um, I don't even know what these are, but these yellow plants are all throughout the biome and they are, you know, pretty well lit, easy to see from a distance. So that's nice detail as well. And then we also have these blue things that are sort of around the edges of all the rocks. On the Grand Reef, these little blue things are around the edges, which, you know, again, match the biome and add to its atmosphere and also gives Grand Reef a nice new lighting. And the other thing is that this mod, or not this mod, but this specific biome adds some new creatures into the Grand Reef that weren't here originally. So we can see that there are now ampules in the Grand Reef. They weren't here before. And there's also some ghost rays swimming around and they also weren't here before. And another creature that this mod adds into the Grand Reef is called, I believe this one is called the Amber Jelly Ray. The thing is more or less just a ghost ray in a different color, which, you know, looks awesome because the ghost ray already glows on its own. So changing the color really gives it a nice new vibe. You got these nice looking blue plants on the ground. I mean, all the lush Grand Reef is essentially the Grand Reef overhauled with a bunch of plants, uh, new lighting like throughout these blue things that you can find all throughout the biome. Some new creatures added into the Grand Reef like the Ampio, the ghost rays, and the amber ghost rays, almost a jelly rays again. Pretty awesome changes overall and I really like this new lush grand reef and with that we can move on to our next biome all right and the next new area that we have that this mod adds into the game is going to be the membrane meadow i believe that's what this area is called it is located in the crag fields so this area adds a bunch of new plants into the crag fields and we can see one of the main ones is going to be this giant membrane tree and the smaller membrane trees around it although they're sort of floating right now this area also adds the ghost rays into the crag field so that's a nice addition and this membrane tree really does give off some nice lighting i'm gonna be i'm gonna be completely honest with you super bright and vibrant and it serves as a nice little landmark to see within the crag fields because the crag fields is a little uh maybe not dry but more like barren is the word i'd use it's there's not really much that's bright in the crag fields. It's kind of just like a whole bunch of rocky terrain. So this little beacon of light in the middle of the crag fields really does fit and serves as a nice little landmark to see whenever you're exploring the crag fields and whatnot. Yeah, this is the membrane meadows and it's a nice addition to the crag fields. And with that, we can move on to the next biome slash area that this mod adds. All right, so the next area that we're gonna be taking a look at is going to be the shallow mountains biome that this mod adds into the game. Another smaller biome that is located right next to the mountains island. It's sort of like attached to it, as we can see. I really, really like, I think the biggest like highlight of this entire safe shallow is how the colors sort of like match up with each other. So we got the nice looking barnacles, the glowing light blue barnacles right here. And then we have these amazing looking, I don't, I don't really know what color this is. I, it looks like caramel sort of. Whatever color this grass is, you know, this grass fits this area super well. And considering that it's next to the mountains area, you know, it does have a bit of a rockier appearance as well. You can see that throughout the biome, throughout the biome's terrain, because we can see these sort of areas are a little bit more like porous, almost like there's rocks underneath them because, you know, there is. It's not like all smooth area like the regular safe shallows is. So that's a nice little detail. We got some nice plants all over the place. We got some of those blue things again, and we have some gasopods that swim around this area, a shallows biome, and it wouldn't be a shallows biome without gasopods around the area. If we head underneath, we can see that the mod creator actually actually you know he actually put some really good effort and did a good job with making this biome merge with the mountain that was sitting next to it without making it look like you know super weird like the biome was like floating in the air or anything like that so it looks super awesome because it actually looks like 
it was naturally formed in the game. That about wraps up the Mountain's Shallows biome, and with that we can head on to our next biome that this mod adds into the game. Alright, so the next new area that this mod is going to add into the game is going to be called the Bulb Reef biome, and it's actually going to be located right next to the Blood Kelp area. So this biome is essentially like a more spread out bulb zone, with some new additions. As we can see, the stalkers are one of the biggest things because stalkers were never in the original bulb zone. You know, there's more of these blue things that sort of help illuminate the biome, make it look nice and vibrant. And obviously we have the bulb bush trees that are all over the place, giving the biome its name, you know, of the bulb reef. Got some nice grass here to match the biome. This grass is found all throughout this area, so that's pretty nice. Also forgot to mention, but all these biomes are really like, are structured very well. Like as far as like the texture of the, you know, the terrain goes and whatnot, like it's not all just like flat and like lame type of stuff. It's super like dynamic areas and whatnot so i appreciate that as well we can see that there's some more plants right here and they sort of illuminate sort of serve as like a little uh like tiny little lanterns underwater lanterns that sort of help with lighting in this biome so that's nice as well alongside these stalkers in this biome, we can also find some mesmers in here which are also kind of you know irritating creature to deal with i'd say it's a, a moderate threat level i would say because the mesmers can do some pretty good damage and these stalkers are kind of annoying so with that that was the bold brief biome that this mod adds into the game and with that we can head on to the next and last biome that we'll show for today so this one is called the float reef and as we can see it is bustling with life all types of different plants we can see we got a bone shark right here spade fish swimming around we got a rabbit ray we got some kelp trees barnacles on the bottom of the rocks we have the red grass from the grassy plateaus area pretty diverse as far as plants go there's a ton of different things you can look at here nice and vibrant colors everything sort of jumps out at you from the moment you get to this area and i really do like this spot so going out of the water we can already see this biome has a really um really rocky appearance this entire island does just by the texture on the ground and by the texture of you know the walls we got some shale up props right here or a shale up prop right there we got some more plants right here uh I forgot what these things are called, cave crawlers. We got those swimming around. I said swimming around, they're crawling around, what? And then we have these giant trees, these two, three giant trees that we can see all add to the atmosphere of this awesome looking biome. And we also have a big old floater that we can see right there as well, that's nice. We also have this little hot tub-esque area right here. It's really just like a little pocket of water on land and it looks, reminds me of a hot tub. So that's what I'm gonna call it. It looks super awesome. And there's a barnacle on it to sort of illuminate it. Despite this biome being like super rocky on the top and whatnot it's still like filled with life it's sort of like the crag fields if it got turned into like a cool looking island above the water we got another one of those hot tub areas again got the massive trees adding to the overall atmosphere of this biome we got the birds flying around and then we have the large rock right here that sort of sort of serves as this biome slash islands peak so you can see basically overlook the entire biome if you're standing up here so that's super awesome i want to look at it at nighttime real quick so this is what this island looks like at nighttime and as we can see the little pockets of water are illuminated by the barnacles that sit in them which make them look all the more awesome you can see they are there illuminating giving off a nice little ambient light at night time and then we have the let me find it yeah we have the giant floater right here that sits above the water this time and it also gives off some pretty good lighting so yeah really enjoyed looking at this biome specifically because it was probably my favorite one out of all the new biomes that this mod adds into the game so yeah so we're gonna move away from biomes and we're gonna go look at one of the new precursor bases that this mod adds into the game so here we are at one of the new precursor structures that this mod adds into the game this one is called the this one is called the precursor mining facility but i will walk inside and show you I'll, I'll show you just a, i'll show you just a little bit of this precursor base so we're gonna head on inside of this precursor base and we're gonna walk all the way through and we can see we have this big old area looks super awesome right here and then we're gonna look down and then we have the pool there's a ramp over there that leads down so let's head down and as we can see it drops all the way down into this little area right here it's like a big old cave that we can, you know, speculate that the precursors use to gather resources from and whatnot. We got all the nice little, uh, I don't even know what these things are. What are these like lasers? I guess like mining lasers we have all over the walls. We got this big old light right here, another light right there to sort of illuminate this area. There's of course gonna be warpers in any sort of precursor area. And this cave is quite large too. There's a diamond deposit right there, which is not in the base game of Nautica. So that's a nice little thing that they added into this, that the mod creator added into this game as well. And yeah, this is the precursor mining facility. Super awesome looking, really atmospheric when you come down here because there's a lot of plants down here. Not the type of plants that you would see like in like a grassy type of area but more so plants that you would see in a more rocky type of biome like this 
So really matched and nailed the vibe of the plants. We got some heat zones right here. With that, we can move on to our last thing that we're gonna show from this mod, which is going to be the different variant of creatures that this mod actually adds into the game. So this is one of the different creatures that the mod adds into the game. So instead of a regular gasopod, this one simply looks different, but it's called the Indigo Gasopod, and they're found in, I believe they're in the same places that the regular gasopods are. He looks virtually identical to the, you know, regular gasopod, as we can see one over here, but you know, he's different colored and differently textured so that's all nice new details all right so the sand shark also has a new variant of himself so here we have the i believe this is the lemon sand shark but as we can see the lemon sand shark sort of has a nicer sort of like army green or puke green color it's kind of like light green mixed with a bit of white in there it's really nicely textured i really do like the way that looks you know his mouth is a little bit differently colored as well his eyes are virtually the same color Ooh, that's kind of that looks kind of cool as well sort of transitions up into like a blue a light blue up there i like that all right y'all i would like to apologize in advance because i once again having some technical issues so for some reason the new creatures that this mod adds to the game aren't spawning in and their respective bombs for me and i don't know the spawn ids if they even have any so i'm not gonna be able to see them in game but thankfully the mod creator does have screenshots of those creatures on nexus so we can just look at them that way so the new creatures that this mod adds is going to be the sandy ray the crystal ray the tiger sand shark and the grand fin bone shark now the sandy ray is found in the dunes mountains and the crash zone biomes and it sort of has it sort of has like a, as you would imagine like a sandy appearance it's got a nice little brown it's got nice brown textures all over its body and then it's also got like the main color being a darker I, I don't know really what that color is it's like dark gray almost it looks like so we're just gonna say that we're gonna go with that it definitely looks like the type of creature you would find sort of like hiding or maybe like blending in with the seafloor underneath the sand or something like that hence the name sandy ray so it's got a nice brown texture nice spotted brown texture around his body it looks pretty awesome and then next up we have the crystal ray which is not the opposite of the sandy ray but it is a bit different so these spawn they spawn in the crag fields and sometimes in the grand reef and they have a very very bright appearance hence the name crystal ray because it almost looks like a freaking swimming crystal like it's just a crystal swimming around its right and left fins are extremely bright super light blue and you'd be able to you know see it from like a mile away essentially and then the middle of its body is sort of like bioluminescent it's got that nice light blue and a darker blue probably so that the creature doesn't look like a giant freaking light bulb swimming around so it looks pretty awesome as well and then we have the tiger sand shark which is found in the sparse reef and the mushroom forest biome now from the picture it's a little bit hard to tell which is really why i wish i could spawn it i could have spawned it in in the game but you know we're just gonna make do with what we got so the tiger sand shark almost looks like it has like a little um like a not like a rainbow pattern on his back but it's sort of like different colors in the same spot so we can see like on one of his fins he has sort of like a blue color then there's like green ish in the middle and then there's like purple sort of like a greener color as opposed to like the regular sand shark dark gray color so that's also pretty cool as well and then finally we have the grand fin bone shark which is only found in the found in the dunes biome the grand reef and the sea treaders path a bit more purple i would say as far as the way it looks it's got like a little purple tint to it again don't know if that's the water or the actual creature either way it looks awesome and then the most striking feature of this new bone shark is going to be the little white streaks that are around his body almost look like little tattoos that it has near its face and towards the back of its head so those look pretty awesome as well but yeah other than that that was the rising waters turning tides mod it essentially overhauls your entire subnautica game by adding a bunch of new things into the mod into the mod into the game so yeah with that that is about all i had for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace Thank you.